Hi, how are you all doing today? I hope that you've been trying to stay in contact with your family and your friends. I hope they've been trying to stay in contact with you. That's what these brief videos are all about. And today I want to share a few thoughts with another quote from that 15th century Scottish preacher, Samuel Rutherford. He said, praise God for the hammer, the file, and the furnace. Now, what do you suppose he meant by that? Well, let's think for a moment here about a hammer and a nail. The hammer itself is a very useful tool, especially if you need to drive a nail into place. And the hammer actually can find its satisfaction as it drives that nail deeper into the wood. But if the nail had feelings, it might have a, a very different story. You see, from the nail's perspective, the hammer is nothing but a brutal master, an enemy who knows how to beat it into submission. But let's understand one thing here. Both the nail and the hammer are held by the same carpenter. The decision as to which hammer to use and which nail to drive into the wood is the sovereign right of the carpenter. Same holds true for metal that is scraped by a file or an iron that a piece of iron that feels the blast of the furnace. Now, by means of application, our disappointments, our heartaches, circumstances that can bring anxiety, they are like the hammer, the file, and the furnace. They come in all shapes and sizes. It could be a broken relationship, it could be a, a severed friendship, a, a rebellious child, a failing grade at school. It could even be a medical emergency like COVID-19. And yet, as difficult as it may be to believe today, the master carpenter knows what he's doing. And the bruising, the scraping, the, the melting process that we often go through just might be designed to reshape us, to transform us. Now, while I do not believe that God has caused this crisis that we find ourselves in today, I do believe that God can use it to draw us closer into his embrace, to conform us to the image of his son, and to find our strength in him. I'd like you to listen to a few words from Psalm 89 verses 15 through 17. The psalmist writes this, Blessed are those who hear the joyful call to worship, for they walk in the light of your presence, Lord. They rejoice all day long in your wonderful reputation. They exult in your righteousness. You are their glorious strength, and it pleases you, Lord, to make us strong. Chuck Swindoll once wrote these words, and I'm quoting, he said, God's hand is in your heartache. Those God uses most effectively have been hammered, filed, and tempered in the furnace of trials and heartache, end quote. So let's be sure that we use this time to lean on the Lord, to put our trust in him, and to find our strength in him. Let's pray. Lord, in the midst of these times of crisis where people are stressed almost to the stressing point and beyond, may we all continue to seek out our joy in you, our peace in you, and our strength in you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.